Welcome, 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 good people. We are back. Woo! Maddie Patty. Mm -mm -mm. I am a whole different anomaly than what you're used to dealing with. You're not used to someone coming at you with the truth. And the, the funny thing about it, Maddie, is you did all the work. Mistake or no mistake, you still didn't do actions to correct yourself. I told you guys, I was done. I was staying, one didn't have nothing to do. You can still went out to try to seek to destroy my page. Yeah, you did. You got caught. You got caught. The excuse y'all tried to run by me through your little minions, it ain't working, bruh. It ain't working. I don't care if it was unintentional or intentional. You did it. So now you have to take your medicine. This is what you get for trying. So now that you learn, you never come down this road again. Okay? So this is what this is. This is the learning for you, Matt. This is learning. This is history lesson. You ever see those movies where they take them through the seven days of Christmas and all that Scrooge and all that when they take them through their life? That's what this is. Me taking you through your life. You know, the one you seem to want to try to forget. The one you want to try to pretend never existed. But I know a lot of people that don't like you, Matt. That list goes around the corner. And they've shared some pretty good information. And I'm quite sure the general public who might have forgotten or never even heard this information, except for on the Patreon, you already know where I'm going. But for the rest of y'all, Strap in your seatbelt, because here we go. Welcome, good people. Now, we're going to get into it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the page, hit that notification bell, the whole nine. Now, we've heard about him and Gloria. What do you know about Maddie and the girl that had his last kid? The one that he's with now. You want to talk about that, Maddie? Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that, Maddie. Because I don't know, you and Jack are the similar to me. Jack, you know, Captain Jack, CB4, MC Gusto, him and Tammy taking care of Cammy. She's spending up all this money on her and her kid, and Jack taking care of the kid like it's his own. Way to go, Jack. You know. <laughs> Finesse is, <laughs> finesse is something. It don't make no sense. <laughs> I ain't tripping on finesse. <laughs> you know it, you know it. <laughs> and now Nessa done got you. <laughs> Another finesse job. These boys love getting finesse, don't they? Let me show y'all how this works. Beverly Johnson is Anessa's mother, right? In case you guys don't know, Beverly Johnson is the first black model to be on the Vogue magazine, first black model to do almost everything. You know, she was the standard of black models. Everybody had to have her, including Anessa's father, this Jamaican man who's a record producer, who put on, uh, he was the producer for uh, Bob Marley. He was Bob Marley's producer. And he found out early in the 70s that yo mama was finessing him. That's why their marriage only lasted two years. 
Because she was out there sliding with the highest bidder. That's how you got here, Nessa. You, Nessa, is a product <laughs> of the Trapper Dude, baby. The insurance money. You was the insurance plan. So, of course, that marriage didn't work. But now they got a Nessa. Like mother, like dog. She marries a football player. He goes to the NFL. She was a plus-size model. I don't remember her advertising anything. But anyway, she was a plus-size model. Her mom grew up living a model lifestyle where she gets her hair done at a young age. So this is what she knows. This is normal to her. So this woman has three children with her football player husband who played in the NFL. He made a few bucks. But NFL money ain't guaranteed. And he was no superstar of the NFL. So his money was not what the norm or NBA player's money would be. Now, while they were going through their little breakup or whatever, you were liking Anessa, wasn't you? You was feeling her, but you was in your relationship and your things. So when things went down and the chips was down, you went rolling over there. And within five months of dating, she winds up pregnant. Baby number four. <laughs> Baby number four. <laughs> Baby number four. Oh my God. I ain't tripping on finesse. <laughs> it don't make no sense. I ain't tripping on finesse. You know it, you know it. <laughs> Now slow it down for him, baby. <laughs> because man should know the worst of his song. And Steve, too. <laughs> yeah, they keep getting stuck for dollars. And they don't care because they ain't know how. When they were looking at you, <laughs> they saw your part shake. They said, what can I do? <laughs> I got to get me a break. Baby, I am confident that I'm going to get it played. But i got to have that on sight. <laughs> That's right. So I ain't tripping. I got finessed. <laughs> it don't make no sense. <laughs> don't make no sense. <laughs> don't make no sense how you can see this coming. And then. And then. All of a sudden, before your ICM partnership, yeah, before your ICM partnership, all your chips was down, you're not playing no more, all of a sudden, there's problems. Now we got problems. So what happens when you got problems, ladies and gentlemen? We start to look Oh, somebody just sent me some. So, anyway, <clears throat> They was telling me to ignore somebody. But anyhow, let me get back to point. You saw the finesse, right? And you was out there running the streets, cheating, allegedly. You wanted out. Blaming the kids. Is it true, Maddie Patty? Because your girl, Anessa, 
put it out on Instagram and showed you made her and her children that she has with her other husband get out of the pool so that your sons and you can get in the pool. You separated your children. If you can't love her three kids, which you didn't, which you didn't, why are you even together? And then you was like, I don't even want them in the house. Where are they supposed to go? You, you were tired of the kids being in the house. You said that too. You said that, man. I don't have to say allegedly. You said that. Now, enough of me talking. Let's hear from Maddie. You guys can see that before we go there. I want to do check that out again. He was trying to make it seem like, you know, she was a bad mom, wasn't letting him see the kid. And this was the actual text messages that she put out. With communication with Matt. Maddie is the guy, of course, in the white. So, as you can see, she never was keeping him away from talking to his son. The way he tried to make it appear on social media, this is what he does. Now, she put out the other text message. Look at that. Good morning. Look at that. He says, I might be all closer to 215, 230 coming from. Don't want to have you waiting. Hit you once I leave. Okay. 230 is the cool. She said, I can't make 230 on 17 minutes notice, but I'll be there at 245. Cool. She said, I'm running 10 minutes behind. He was like, let me know. When you get here, I'm off. Cool. So... I'll be there at 2.45. Cool. I'm running 10 minutes behind. Okay. Let me know when you get here. I'm off to the side. Okay. We still looking at 8.30. Yes. Bring the umbrella and stroller here. Be there in five. Now, does does that seem like somebody who's having, haven't seen their child? Hmm? Huh? Does that sound like somebody that's not trying to work with co-parenting? Why was he painting that picture? Because he was trying to get her back and trying to use the social media to shame him. Look at that. She's saying nothing but okay and working with him. Lance, okay, what time you want that to happen? Waiting to hear if they need me for ESPN that day, either 12 or 6. I'm not working 3 to 8 if I am working. Okay, make sure you get your visits this upcoming week before you go out of town. Ash and I will be staying at my friend's place. You see what I'm saying? Why are you bouncing around from playing, from playing to place? If we do meditation the worse you will get. Mediation. Okay, she said mediation, not meditation. I'm sorry about that. Now let's look at Look at this. Do you want any furniture from the house? TVs, white couches, big mirrors. He was like, the upstairs mirror I'm keeping. Okay, thanks for the white couches and chairs. Any flat screen TVs would work. I gave my mine away when we moved in. And she, he's like, I'll be there at 225. Got to grab the boys at 3. When you're here, she said, I'll be there at 5. When did you last eat? Noon. I'll be digging the kids' clothes out of the, the clear trash bags to get them dressed daily. Can't do laundry regularly. Last time you didn't send, he said you didn't send him back with his clothes or hoodies. 
Can you please send him back in the same clothes? This will help me out a lot right now. Also, sorry, I don't have shoes on. I'm not a clown. So things are getting chippy. Then it goes from this. If you need to do laundry, you can come over. I could leave a key outside so you could do it while I'm not home if you prefer. Here, be there and be there in five. His clothes were drying. Stay completely away from me. Forget the white couches and TVs. I don't want nothing from you. Don't threaten me anymore. Morning. Confirming the 230 exchange. You close? You know you wouldn't like it if I just didn't respond when you were trying to pick up the baby back up tonight. What's the deal? What time we eat and all this noon? I mean, it just act like as if nothing ever happened. So whatever was in there, they edited it out. Then he put out the same statement he put out again. This is what he sent to glory. Since I've been allowed to see you guys, miss and love you, it's been nearly a month. Then he did the same thing over here. Missing my little man, hopefully I'm allowed to see you soon. He was never blocked from seeing his kids. He's painting the narrative so social media would believe that. But enough of me. Let's listen in, in on Matty Patty himself. Take it away, Matty Patty. So I debated even addressing this. I uh, just had a great day on uh, first take and get up and I look at my phone and people are blowing me up. Look at the internet, look at the internet. Jump on the internet, see a bunch of text messages between me and my ex. First of all, she's been crying to her lawyer about no, no more posting, no posting on Instagram, no this, no that. And then here she is making posts on Instagram, but also deleting parts of the, com uh, parts of the conversation. Convenient. Fit, fit your motive, fit your narrative. I'm not tripping off that. So let me give you a little timeline. Up until February 12th, we were on the same page with CNH. I've seen him every two or three days a week, and we were cool. And then I went to All Star, and shit went crazy. So before I went to All Star, we put a game plan together. Um, I was gonna co sign your new place, pay for your new place, furnish your new place, keep the truck, and we work out a cool schedule for Ash. That's what we was on. I get back from All Star. And I come back to a, a thin line between love and hate meets waiting to exhale meets how Stella got her groove back type shit. All lies and all bullshit. So I come back from All Star early on Sunday, hoping to see Ashton on Tuesday. So I hit I hit uh, her up Sunday. She tells me uh, we're gonna have to postpone the visit. Doesn't tell me why. So keep in mind, the last time I talked to her was Sunday, and then come to find out, she had conveniently scheduled my days to see. Ashton when I had to work like today is one of my days but I'm in New York that's how she plays and then she wants to say I missed my days so I come back um, Monday I work someone I guess while my brother was at the house someone comes to serve me with uh, custody custody and child support papers so that's when it starts Monday my brother got served they were thinking it's me then Thursday I'm allegedly seen in public with another female and then crazy enough, I'm served with a restraining order on Friday. Coincidence? I don't think so, especially considering I hadn't talked to her since the previous Sunday. And all of a sudden, Friday, I'm hit with a restraining order. So some people are like, oh, you can't get a fake restraining order. Something had to happen. She just lied. She said she can't eat, she can't sleep, and she's in constant fear, looking over her shoulder, thinking I'm going to come for her. That's no more, more bullshit. She's just playing off my old reputation. And also keep in mind, she was sitting next to me when I was handling this with the twins mom, thinking she was someone I could lean to and, and confide in, while the whole time she's just taking notes. 
So mm -hmm. now her whole thing is, is poor me, this poor victim. And she's posting old videos on Instagram about her and her ex just two months ago who she couldn't fucking stand are in co-parent bliss and I must be the problem because I did the same thing to Gloria. She's DMing all my friends, screenshots of shit and a blog picked it up and she's just doing extra. All this extra shit just for attention. She thinks that if she has this restraining order that when we go to court, she's gonna be able to paint this picture of me being something I'm not, but she's gonna have to prove that in court. Just like the last time I had to go through all this and I was this kind of bad guy, but then somehow I came out on top of court. Because you have to prove shit. You can't just say shit. You can say anything on Instagram because these dumb motherfuckers will believe it. But in court, you got to prove it. I seen another thing about, oh, look at his story. He's lying. He's seen the baby. If you look at my story, you'll see my last, excuse me, not my story, my highlight. Booger baby and smart baby. And ask yourself, why the fuck is Ashton wearing the same clothes? Maybe because it's from the same day. And they're, I posted them a week apart. I just posted the kiss later. That's what that was for all you motherfucking Inspector Gadget detectives out here. But, like I said, you got to prove stuff. We're going to go to court. We'll get it proved. But one thing I'll never figure out is how you get $1,100 for three kids who are 8, 7, and 5, and you want $15,000 for a 14-month-old. And you and your mom thinking that getting restraining orders and crying wolf on Instagram is going to help you get the attention and more money. Like, who needs $15,000 for a 14 with though? Ask yourself that. Nobody. This is just a money play. Just like the restraining order is a money play. She fears for her life. The fact of the matter is, like, we just didn't work. I wasn't happy. I tried to try to make it work. It didn't work. So now instead of being hurt and sad like she was at the beginning, her mom is in her ear, so now she's bitter and spiteful. And let's try to hurt this motherfucker. That's all it was. I'm not claiming to be perfect by any means, because I'm not. My fuck-ups are real. I admit them. I have no problem about admitting them. I'm not perfect. But I haven't done nothing in this situation to even warrant a restraining order or have to go through all this this, this crazy shit. And you want to talk about lies, let's, let's talk about your Google Map uh, image of Lake Michigan when you went to All-Star and your Tao Chicago uh, Yelp review when you were eating at All-Star during Valentine's Day. And how you allegedly went to the Super Bowl, but somehow we exchanged Ashton on Super Bowl Sunday. And then also how Blazer hit me up asking me for $5,000 and they'll prove that you're the one leaking information to all these other blogs. So it's only a matter of time. The lies always come to the light and this will be handled in court. Uh, unfortunately, I had to address this here because what she doesn't understand and what some women don't understand is when you make these bullshit accusations, you fuck up money and future money. So you got... My, you know, my employer's looking at me crazy like, what's going on when it's all lies? So that's why I address this. So whoever says this is not from the internet, it's not. But something needs to be said because she's got people thinking that I'm on some shit and I'm not. I just want to see my son, plain and simple. I'm heading home. Hopefully I can see them this weekend. We do that. We go to court. We get the outcome and we keep it moving like co-parents. That's it. Y'all have a good weekend. She released the court papers and everything on you, Matt. Now, Matt make you sound very convincing, right? You'd be very convinced watching, uh, you know, anything that Matt says, right? You know, the way he said that, you would believe Matt, right? So, it's clear. You would believe Matt. Now, Matt was very confident saying, let's go to court. You don't have to prove it. There's nothing here. Matt was very confident, extremely confident. Like, we got this one, you know, like, she gonna have to show and prove. Okay, that's sensible, right? Makes a lot of sense. Makes a ton of sense. But, I was even believing Matt when this first came out. I was believing you, Matt. But, what happened, Maddie? Y'all want to know what happened? This is what happened. I think it was yesterday talking about owning up to your mistakes and taking responsibility for the fuck-ups. Um, you caused in your life and I think that resonated 
and it made me, I mean, I was already thinking about it, but it made me want to really take a step back and apologize to uh, my ex, Ananza, for taking our relationship or our breakup public and when we hit a rocky point, um, flipping out on it, out of emotion, out of hurt, out of anger, out of frustration, a little misunderstanding, but it was wrong for me to do. Should have learned the first time, but <clears throat> you know, it's, it's there, there, there's no book to this. There's no guide to this. I mean, we're learning on the fly. You know what I mean, so I think, you know, in hindsight, obviously you, you, you in, in, in the moment you do and react off of emotion most of the time, then you sit back and like, damn, maybe I shouldn't have did that. But I uh, just want to take the opportunity to publicly apologize for my actions. And like I said, putting our mess out there in the public and allowing people to dissect and pick and, and pry and talk shit because she was nothing but amazing. Great mom, great partner. Um, so it just didn't work out. But, um, you know, I wish her nothing but the best. And a lot of you are probably gonna say like, why put this on social media? Why not privately apologize? And I already did privately apologize to her, but I publicly disrespected her, so I need to publicly apologize. So that's it. Just trying to grow, trying to be better. But uh, like I said, the summer's been on my mind and then it was crazy because my brother Jack posted something about owning up to your shit and, and, and your part to blame. You know, too often I think we try to blame other people for everything, and that's not the case. Sometimes you gotta look in the mirror. So, this is me looking in the mirror. Sorry, Ananza. And I'm excited that we're at a good place right now, and we can co parent for Ash, because that's all that really matters. Damn! That's a complete 180 from what he just said, right? Damn, why is it now she's a good mother? She's all these good things. She's so wonderful. Joe, oh my God, oh my, oh my. What happened in the. Man, wasn't that a complete 180 for Maddie? Complete 180. What happened when she's lying? She's making all this up. Can't wait to see you in court. Somebody didn't want to go to court. But you funny how they could say, man, I, I humiliated her in public. So I wanted to apologize to her in public. You couldn't apologize to Kwame Brown? On your All The Smoke show? That's all you had to do. It's not hard. Y'all know that. That's all you had to do. And it would have been over with, Maddie. Would have been over with. All of this would have washed away. But you don't know how to do that. You only do it when you think it's necessary. Talking about Jack told him about owning up to your mistakes. We're learning as we go. Learning as you go? You're like 40, dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> We're just learning on the fly. Dude, you just went through this. <laughs> I ain't tripping on finesse. <laughs> it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Where does this make sense at, ladies and gentlemen? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> now, ICM Partners and Showtime have put you on. As a matter of fact, you're not even a part of Showtime like that, dog. Y'all are on Showtime Basketball. Showtime Basketball don't even really exist. That is Showtime's YouTube page. That is not all the smokes YouTube page. Where where's the Steven Jackson or the Matt Barnes YouTube? So your product of Showtime, you have a boss. They don't even put your episodes on Showtime. None of your episodes are on Showtime. When I see all the smoke on Showtime, then I can call y'all Showtime. Y'all just on the internet. You feel me? So, there's a lot more pieces to this. We've been letting it go on the Patreon, so the Patreons will know what's up before a lot of y'all getting a lot of this information.
Now, as I said before, as I'm stating now, Maddie Patty is the king of getting finessed. He can't help it. He loves it. He loves it. As we told you in the other video. What did we tell you? You saw Derek didn't get him once but twice. She, three times. He got him playing daddy now. <laughs> Coming over there playing nice. <laughs> so... Hey, it is what it is, man. I get it. But I tell you what, man. This is bad. Derek didn't got you three times. <laughs> to be to be honest, it's really three times. He got you playing nice and everything. <laughs> took your woman, took your car. Man. People talk, you know. <laughs> I ain't tripping on finesse. It don't make no sense. <laughs> Some people, they can't. They can't escape their own pains, man. He know he getting finesse and he know he got to play nice. That's why he playing house now. She's coming back because, one, she has nothing else going on. You was what was going on. And you know, in order to get these deals and partnerships, they need you to play ball. And that's what you're doing. You're playing ball now. They need that from you. You need to have the showing of, oh, this is a family. We're a family. This is my fiance. Why you ain't marry her? Why you ain't put a ring on her finger? Because you know. You know. Now you got pictures of them, the family. All of a sudden, you you like the family now. You like her kids, everything. You taking all these these prop pictures, kissing on romantic dates and what's not. You're doing all that on purpose to try to cover up the fact that you're trying to go to a better place and pretend and change your whole image. And it's cool. But if you ain't changed inside, dog, you're, you're changing your image don't even matter. You're just trying to pretend like you changed your image. People can see through that. It's see-through. Now, like the page, subscribe to the page. If you hadn't already hit that notification bell, I told you, it, this thing going to keep, this train going to keep going as long as they keep coming with the disrespect of my page. All of a sudden, certain things ain't working. The notifications not really working and going out to certain people. Really? You want to play that game? All right, let's play. Let's continue to play. I told you, you stay away from my page, this can stop. Maybe now I have your attention.